a person should research upon the courses that are there over here there's a big data course cyber security artificial intelligence and i am in software engineering major so there are many different majors out here there are a lot of new um, subjects and courses and research work that is also happening at, at ASU and there's a lot of innovation out here so th- there's a lot of scope for many different job opportunities my uh, weekly schedule mostly throughout the four semesters has been with, with been with three classes uh, over three times a week and nothing more than that and the other times i uh, i give it to my asu on campus jobs or now that i have an internship so i devote to the internship there are th- there are 30 credits required to graduate and each subject is three credits so there are nine subjects that you have to take over four semesters some people even finish it in 1.5 years by taking four subjects in one semester there is definitely demand for few courses it can happen that in sort if in certain semester you thought of taking this class but you won't, you might not get it but it doesn't mean that you'll never won't get it the next semester you uh, you'll eventually get it in one of the semesters but one shouldn't lose hope that they won't it in this semester because there is a lot of competition so there's distributed database systems which is very high in demand there's a uh, um multimedia web services uh databases and um there is statistical machine learning which are which these three courses are pretty good any uh, big data courses at asu are very good you can switch from a thesis to non thesis but i have not heard switching from switching from software engineering to big data concentration or from one concentration to, to the other it's not that easy certain classes are very rigorous and they have a lot of project work and they are very intensive and certain classes are easy as and now you can cruise through them without any tension they can also check the syllabus online and make a choice because taking all taking all tough subjects in one semester doesn't make sense because the gpa will drop so having a mixture of subjects is a better bet if you want to be considered for a uh, good jobs some of the companies do look at your gpa and they while you're filling online applications they will ask you your gpa and they'll ask you for your transcripts so having a gpa around 3.5 would suffice if you're going for a non thesis that is obviously that like you want to go ahead and try getting a job later on so uh, one should get the data structures and algorithms in place for that there is a book called cracking the coding interview which is uh, very popular for data structures and uh, they should also from time to time look to coding competitive challenges like lead code or hacker rank because the first um, the first stop to getting into getting a interview would be a hacker rank and most of the questions are from lead code if you're going for a thesis it would um, you should approach a professor find out which uh, research projects they are into and see align yourself with those research projects and uh, get a whole grip on the uh, on the subject and try to mail them and try to see if you can do something over the summer before you enter the college Thank <music> you.